So this video is gonna assume you've never modded Bomb Rush before or maybe you're just getting back into it after a while and you never checked out the multiplayer. I'll show you how to set that up. Your best bet and the most convenient option is going to be with R2 Modman. It's gonna act as a mod manager and just be your index for all the mods and an easy access and you can change them and see them all in one place. So you'll download this, there it is. Alright, so you're gonna install that, and then once it's installed, open it up, and you'll see this game selection screen. We're gonna be modding Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. It's already right here, so you select it. I'm on the Steam version. So then you're going to want to select from the profiles, there's just a default profile here. You can make as many as you like and each one's going to have different mod configuration. So I already have a lot of mods, you can see they're all here in one place. It's very convenient. And you're going to want to go to online here. So th these, are the, these are the ones you already have downloaded. And then these are the ones that people have actually uploaded to the Thunderstore. So instead of having to go to the Thunderstore website, um, which is as far as I understand, riddled with malware in the downloads, you can instead just download them directly from this and it doesn't do that or whatever. So the mod that actually enables you to play multiplayer is gonna be called Slop Crew by NotNet, here it is. And that is a lot of downloads. It's pretty cool. So you're gonna wanna download that with dependencies. I already have it, there we go. And then you'll go over to installed and you should find it somewhere. There we go, slot crew here. So now, Here's how to connect to the free soul server. You're gonna wanna launch the game at least one time after you installed this. So launch the game by, by hitting start modded up here and it'll run your game. And it's gonna generate a config file for any of these mods that you have. But you have to run it once first in order to actually get those files. So then after you ran the game once, you can close that out, and if you want to connect to the free soul server, you're going to want to go here, and you want to, you want to go to the config editor, and you're going to want to find slop crew. So that's going to be... Man. Yeah, somewhere around here. So, Bepinex config slop crew, right? You're gonna wanna hit edit config. And you scroll down, it's gonna say server, alright? Host, host to connect to, right? Here's the free soul address free.soulisall.city, right? And the port. It's just gonna be the same as the default. And after that, you'll be able to get on the free soul server. The other important thing that I want to show you is it's worth noting that if you do not change your name when you join the multiplayer, your default name is gonna be Big Slopper. Don't be a big slopper, alright? So just open the config editor on Slop Crew, just like I showed you. Scroll down, general, username, right? Here's mine. And now if you want to change the color of your username, it's gonna be this format. Right? You're gonna use the, the greater than color equals. And you're gonna find a hex code whatever color you want and for some reason in the way that this is the way unity games are whatever after you put the hex code you gotta put a ff at the end so th this is my actual color here gonna be a nice green and then you just gotta put a little ff 
on the end there. So make sure you add that and your color will show up properly. And that's how you change your name. Don't be a big slopper. <laughs>